Hi guys, today I am back with another diecast review that I'm going to do late at night. It's a little funny, I'm doing it at 10pm right now. And I think I'm going to do a dark programmed car, a black colored version of it, to get the night in, the vibe with it. So I'm, today I'm going to review the 2019 Talladega Super Speedway program car. As you can see, it's a pretty sweet looking car. It's a program car, the spring program car for 2019. It's a 2019 Ford. They don't say Fusion because they have, they, they have the Ford Mustang now. But they had to put on the PTC mold, so it's a Fusion. It may not look that good on camera, or if it is, I don't know. It may not look good, who knows. It, it all depends on you you guys. Even even if it doesn't look good on camera, it looks pretty good in real life. So let's go ahead and get this thing open right up. Okay, I just got the thing open. So, as you can see, it's a really, it's a really sweet looking program car. It's really a uh, cool looking car. It really is. So, you have the original contingencies. You have NASCAR race car. You got 19. You got Ford, the, the Ford symbol. April 20th, 2019. I believe this is one where Chase Elliott won. It's a pretty sweet 50th anniversary car. Tom Dega Super Speedway. A little bit overlapping, but you guys are already know about this PTC mold. The Moneyline 300, which I believe is from for the Xfinity series. You got your original Katanshi still. It doesn't say Fusion, but it is a Fusion. If you guys know the if you know this particular car. The guy go five hundred at Taladega. Got the nineteen emblem. Got the Ford, the Ford stuff. And you got the same stuff right down this side. Got the exhaust things too. I think they're kinda close to touching. Yeah, they seem to be. As you can see it says fifty. 50. I don't think it's his anniversary, but it is. At Talladega Super S, but I mean Super Speedway. Talladega Super Speedway.com. Got 19 with a teeny weeny little paint ship. I mean, not a teeny weeny, but what the heck is that? I don't, I don't, I don't really know. But, oh no. This car is a pretty great looking thing. It really is because, you know, oh my gosh, I, I did not realize, but this, and I, this, I never knew about this before. It kind of has a other shade of black. And that was black, and the same black would be over here, which is the golden. And those are even more yellow. I just learned some, something out of this car today. Oh my god, this thing looks even nicer than what I've ever expected it to be. My own has poor quality sometimes, sure, but they made this car a real beauty. Now, this definitely makes it worth it. Some people think, oh, you know, the program die cash is not even worth it. You have to go in a cheaper mold. Well, they're at least better than the WLS mold. Oh, gosh. I had to bring on my two WLS Bristol Motor Speedway cars. I can see it. they're already horrible. This one, this one has crooked lights. This is from 2013. It's got crooked lights. This one's got like a wrapping that's not even fit all the way. This one got some creakings. Paint chip. Paint scheme is cool, but. Look at the ch look at the chip. Oh god, this kind of makes me uh, this can this makes it a little hilarious. And look at that American ethanol logo. It's a little 
all screwed up. Just a teeny mini bit on that side. That doesn't even fit all the way in. Compared to this one. Let's have a little race now, shall we? Let's see which one will go farther. The wheels are wobbly, too. That doesn't even fit all the way. Even my phone hates this car a little bit. I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love this car, and I love that car, but the quality-wise, it's horrible on the WLS Mode 2. 2014 is also on the WLS Mode. I mean, look at the chips. It's so much crinkling. I had to even take it out of the box as a substitute for my Ricky Snell's Jr. car. I had to use this as a substitute for my Ricky Snell's Jr. car because I don't know where to put them. As my cases are already filled with cars. Those two spaces are where my 2013 and 14 car was from. Yeah, this was where my 2014 car came from. But I've been getting so much paint chips out of this thing. I mean, look at that thing. Look at the back. It looks unsorted. It looks uneven. They may have had one-of-a-kind paint schemes back then. Which is the only reason why I'm disappointed about today's cars. But they are a lot sturdier than... Yes, the Gators logo is missing too, but they're a lot sturdier. I mean, I mean... Listen to this. Look, and listen to this one. Go ahead and listen to this one now. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think he had a roll. I think he's on digging. Listen to this one. I know the listening problem doesn't make a difference, but... Yeah, I think I have to turn. That was just a little bit of a rant. I think we should get more re relaxed in that and more sorted. Okay, I got it. We're, we're all settled now. Okay, I, I do apologize for the lighting because I never thought this car would be so bright. I thought it would reflect better because I wanted you guys, I want you guys, I want to make sure I give you guys a good review. But I guess that the lights don't really work in this flashy car. But there's no way I can turn it off now, so we just, so I just have to deal with it. Oh my gosh, what? Is there no holes in the steering wheel? Oh no, there's not. <laughs> it does not have the holes in the steering wheel. Clearly, it does not. Look at that hole in the steering wheel. That's how it's supposed to be. Real life steering wheel. Not with this thing. Even though they use generic paint schemes, the rolling, these are better for children. The other one seems to be for adult collectors. So yeah, that'll be it for this diecast review. And all you gotta now is just put it right back in the box where it all belonged to. Boom! We got it back. Okay, and we got it back, so that'll be it for Oh yeah, that just creaks. That just creases from the box. See how that happens? Yeah, I messed up the box even more. But so yeah. This is it for this diecast review. As always, like people say, if you want to subscribe or like or comment or rate, go ahead and do that. I would really appreciate it. I mean, of course, you don't have to, but I would greatly appreciate it. It helped me out a lot. So, yeah, today, this is what I did for this time as a diecast review. I'm going to see you later for more videos. 
like always. Bye.